All right, time for a bit of a cleanup. The yard's very messy now. Today's the 5th of July, so we're ready well into winter. And I can definitely see a lot of surface debris and junk. Some of the grass is long, some of the grass is short. Out in the open over there, it's not as green as out over here. And I decided to investigate that a little bit further too. And I found that it's just because the taller grass is holding a bit more moisture, that seems to be helping. You can just see from this angle, never mind the dog turds, obviously that trail is not getting any better but I'm ignoring it for now. I think what I might actually do is cut and make like a little curve there, cut this out and make this area against the wall a bed. So try and give this a shape that works. Excuse the hardy does. And thanks guys, thanks. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just try and cut out that bed and make it look nice and neat like that. It's just lawn in the middle, basically. I think that'll help the lawn look better overall so anyway this is greener because it's taller and then this area over here is a lot less green but keep in mind what you just saw around the corner is like 50 mils plus tall this is still only 20 mils um, yeah again never mind all the dog turds so we'll get to cleaning this up and hopefully have a neat looking lawn again That was a fun little mow in the heat of the day, winter. It's only 17 degrees, which is pretty warm right now. We've had a nice little warm session in between everything. I think it's going to get chilly again moving forward. But have a look at what the difference just that little cleanup mow did. That's already a lot better. I think what I'm going to do though is get some camisole aqua down because that hasn't been done in a while. I'm not practicing what I preach in that regard. But I can definitely tell this is starting to see hydration issues. So whenever I water, I see a quick response from the other areas and they are still green, like what I showed you earlier on, and that includes the front yard. But this section that's open and out in the open and experiences the most intense frost, that is definitely suffering. And obviously with it being a bit shorter, it is drying out a lot faster. So hydration right now is my big thing. Yeah, much better. She's taking water properly now. I think what I'm going to do is leave it till tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning I'll give it a bit of a visual assessment and just see if I want to bring Frankenstein out here. I've reset up the mower at 18 mils. Maybe we'll give it a mower at 18 mil. I did the front yards, they came out nicely, but this seems to be under a bit more pressure and I think it's got something to do with water. That's why the camisole aqua went down now, just as the let's try it side of things. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, Behind me, those funny dark looking patches, that's Bermuda. So everything that's green at the moment is Kikuyu, and everything that's a bit iffy at the moment is Bermuda. But remember that is common Bermuda, so better cultivars are going to give you a much better winter or cold tolerance, or cold stress tolerance. But at the moment, the Kikuyu is giving it stick. So uh, yeah, let's see what I do tomorrow. I don't know what that'll be yet. There we go, from that angle you see it clear as day. There's those kind of dry spots. I, I get the idea that's from my sprinkler because I've never redone 
the sprinkler issue, I just keep forgetting about it because we had such a good rainy season. I barely use the irrigation. But I've got overlapping sprinklers down here and the sprinkler up there doesn't overlap with anything else. So I think that that little bit of a rough line up to about there, you know, from the top of the yard, I think that yellowish tinge is due to dehydration, definitely. This should have helped now. And then these purple patches, this was always my big area of Bermuda. It used to be much bigger and the Kikuyu's grown over the top of it. The Kikuyu's actually still growing over the top of it, even now. So if we look at it from the top, looks kind of purplish, in, in, in on film it looks purplish, in real life you can see a lot of thatch and it's kind of brownish with a bit of a purple tinge but you see how the kukui is just growing over it and that's from raising the height of cut. So I think what I'm going to do is early spring, well we'll see, I might scarify this, I might not, uh, maybe just run a groomer through it, we'll get rid of some of the, uh, the density of all the turf but in particular what I'll be aiming for is that these Bermuda patches get them out and we'll convert this as much back to Kukuyu as what's possible. And then these little areas over here, they are little like patches of Bermuda, like purple, 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 all over the place. Interesting, hey? I've been giving Kukuyu grief and right now it's giving Bermuda stick in winter. All right, so I decided not to mow this morning, but I did put down some Terra Plus Natura K, which is obviously the same feed that I put down for the autumn feed, and that is now perfect for now, the month of July. As it is, I think, the only item at two kilograms per 100 square meters that I've put on my lawn care calendar or plan to use in the month of July. So I'm just gonna water this in nicely. Not that it needs to be for any reason of burn or stuff like that, I just wanna get it to work immediately and for that you need water all right that's it hopefully this was a quick video so yesterday camisole aqua went down we did a nice trench we let that sit overnight i.e prepared the soil the next day this morning put down terra plus natura k so fertilizer and then drenched it again so it got a double whammy with the drench the first one prepared the soil to accept moisture into it and then I put down the fertilizer and watered that in so its nutrients were able to drench in as deeply as possible. So hopefully that was the best way to apply the product. Not hopefully, that is a pretty good way to apply it. Anyway, next couple of videos, I'm gonna do some interesting stuff. Stay tuned for that. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the little bell notification if you want to be notified whenever I put up a new video. Make sure you share this with your friends, hit the like button if you liked it, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.